Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we're getting into part two, which will involve part four, five, and six of chapter seven. Well, hopefully we'll be getting closer to understanding why Duncan will not allow us to find the location of the Marauders map. Let's get into it. So first of all, we're meeting Marula and Tulip in the corridor in our brother's room because Marula has once again proven herself invaluable, apparently. Oh, it's very dark. I don't like this. Thank you for helping me. You two have spent more time in this room than anyone. I'm hoping you can help me find some clues as to what happened between Duncan Ash and my brother. Are you and Marula friends now? We're becoming friends, we'll never be friends, or we're working it out. I think, you know what? I feel like we're becoming friends. We're working it out. I think we're quickly becoming friends. We're starting to become friends. We've gotten closer after Ratepick asked us to work together. Jealous Tulip. No, no, I'm just surprised that Shiny Hunter is willing to trust you and forgive you after everything you've done. Whoa, hold up, Tulip. I have more suspicion about you being that you betrayed Marula. You know, she's at least stayed loyal to her side of even if it's hateful. <laughs> Marula's changed. She isn't nearly as horrible as she used to be. My best friend Hunter is such a sweet talker. Ah, oh, I think I think Marula's catching feelings. Let's start searching. I'm looking for anything that mentions a boy named Duncan Ash. We know specifically anything about what my brother had to do with his death. I don't know why you guys are not cast this. Why, why are you waiting for me to cast Lumos? But there you go, guys. Wow, don't don't look so shocked by light. Right, searching for clues. I've read the name Duncan Ash before. But I'm not certain it was here. I wonder if your brother did any research on rake pick. That would be interesting to know. What if my brother wasn't actually using this room for research? What do you think he's using it for? What if the main reason my brother used this room was to hide from people? Mm, well, he probably wouldn't have loads of letters about, I think. Looks like he spent a lot of time digging around the Whomping Willow. Be careful with Marula, Shiny Hunter. She'll stab you in the back like you did. Be careful with Tulip Hunter, she'll stab you in the back. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them are very sceptical of each other, which they should be. Who do you trust more, Tulip or Marula? That's going to be the question for this episode. I'll ask the question in the comment section below, but I want you to let me know who do you trust more, Tulip or Marula? Personally, I trust Marula more. Collect success. I found a letter that mentions Duncan. It's amazing how we find all these things in such suitable order. Do not blame yourself, Jacob. Duncan Ash chose his path, and all paths end in the same place. All except ours. Despite what she told you, we could only accept one member regardless of what happened with the bolts. You were always the favorite but this tragedy, along with Miss Green's fate, negates the need for further discussion. Continue your search, trust your instincts, and rid your mind of rats and centaurs. Remember, there are no friends on the path to enlightenment and immortality. There is only us. Ah! My brother was working with R. Who's Miss Green? Another friend of Duncan and my brother's? It sounds like they were all working together to find the vaults. For enlightenment and immortality. For R. To become a member of something? I'm mainly puzzled by the mention of rats and centaurs. Yeah, me too. I'm so puzzled by it, I'm trying to make anagrams. Star, Cronatus, cartoons! Cartoons! It's cartoons! Star and cartoons! It's not an anagram, guys! You don't need to think about that. Sorry, Tulip, it's not an anagram. For me too. That's actually the only part that halfway makes sense. I need to talk to Torvus. Well, that was a big chunk of information. Meet me in the forest grove. I hope this doesn't have anything to do with your brother. Um, no. Nope. Nope. 
No, stars. Stars. That's the biggest bit of information about, you know, our brother's past. We've got a new character being introduced, Mrs. Green. Miss Green, sorry, not married. And then we've got R is working with Jacob. Thanks for meeting us, Torvus. My pleasure. You two are marginally better conversationalists than trolls and red caps. We found out that there might be a dragon hiding somewhere in the castle. Congratulations. <laughs> That's what we've all said, Torvus. Thanks, Torvus. Some perfect grammar here from Torvus. And I hope it won't burn you to death or swallow you whole, as dragons are won't to do. Are won't to do. Are tempted to do. Commonly known. Known to do. Is that meant to be known to do? Dragons are known to do. I think that's what meant to be said. Thanks. Did you heard welcome you back after returning the arrowhead? Please, please, please. They allow me to visit, but they won't let me move back into the camp until I perform a series of tasks to earn their favour. I respect that. That's cool. I wouldn't know anything about that. I wanted to ask you about what happened between my... Um, my <clears throat> then Duncan Ash. Yeah. Why don't you ask Duncan yourself? Because he's dead. What? Oh, well, Thomas didn't know. He's a ghost, so that's really not the problem as much as the fact that he hates me. He must blame Jacob. How did you know? It's a long story. I'll start from the beginning. Thanks, Thomas. We finally find somebody who knows the story. Yes. <laughs> finally. And I can't tap him. Let me ask you a question. I think Duncan wanted to be more careful about things, but Jacob was impatient. Torvus never told me about Duncan. We really only talked about dragons. That doesn't surprise me. Your brother and Duncan came to the forest together many times. They were like you and Charlie. Something is making scratching noises inside that bush. Someone's spying on us. I wonder if my brother left any other clues in the Forbidden Forest. I could have sworn something just passed in front of that tree. Guys, there's something watching us. Duncan was trying to make an even more powerful version of a rumpant potion. A rumpant potion is a potion presumably made from a rumpant parts known to be used in potion making, such as the horn tail or exploding fluid. It's highly explosive. <laughs> it's highly explosive when it is touched from an outside source. There we go. Explodes when touched green in colour. It's actually mentioned in year 2, chapter 9. Duncan wanted to find the vaults, but Jacob was always in charge. I'm going to pretend that being here will help me with my creatures, Owls. Yeah, I'm talking with the centaur. We'll learn a lot. So Jacob and Duncan were searching for the cursed vaults together. Jacob worked on entering the forest vault, while Duncan worked on an extra powerful rumpant potion. Perhaps to prepare for whatever Jacob thought was guarding the next vault. And Duncan wanted them to stick together, but my brother wanted them to split up to move faster. I always thought your brother was particularly assertive and impatient, but perhaps he had a reason. Maybe someone else was pushing him. Duncan might feel like my brother tricked him and abandoned him. He'd still be alive if Jacob hadn't pushed him to make an already explosive potion even more powerful. I need to talk to Duncan, if he'll even see me. But we need to make amends. Suppose I'll see you again, probably for the last time. Hi Duncan. I told you to go away. You literally just sent me a message saying you'll talk to me. <laughs> what? What is this? I talked to Torvus and found a letter written to my brother after you died. I know what happened. What do you think you know? You and Jacob were searching for the cursed vaults. You wanted to stick together, but Jacob was impatient and wanted to split up to move faster. He tried to enter the forest vault, while you tried to brew an especially explosive arumpant potion. I'm assuming you died when that potion accidentally exploded, and you blame my brother. You think if he would have stayed by your side and not pushed you to brew it, you'd still be alive. I know it's too late to change the thing now, but... I'm sorry, Duncan. I think we've nailed it. 
<laughs> that was not the reaction I expected. And really, I feel like I've set myself up to look stupid by being like, yeah, perfect. I actually found it quite sad. My eyes got watery and everything, right? What's so funny? You don't notice how easy it is to manipulate someone's perception of the world until you're no longer part of it. You're saying it isn't true. Parts of it are true. You're saying Tor has lied. You're saying my brother isn't clever. You're saying you were in charge. Hmm. Yeah. You're saying Tor has lied to us. No, I'm saying Torvus doesn't know what he's talking about. From Wales. No, I'm saying Torvus doesn't know what he's talking about. I'll tell you the real story. You get that one wrong. Jacob never gave anyone orders. We both took orders from R. Ah, <sighs> they both took orders from R. Ah. Everyone is telling stories, Shiny. But who is telling the truth? I don't know anymore. If I ever become a ghost, I don't think I'll spend my afterlife in a bathroom. Just it's mid conversation, you're going to say that. I died brewing a potion, but if I didn't, I would have died sooner. What? I have a feeling that something very big and very bad is behind all of this. Me too. I wish I knew who's really telling the truth. I think Duncan is. Duncan doesn't really have any reason to lie, does he? Let me investigate R ah, while you work on freeing Beatrice. I want to work on R. Ah, I don't care about Beatrice. I should know Penny. Damn it. God damn it. Torvis thinks Torvis thinks Jacob stole from him, but Jacob was actually protecting Torvis. Everyone is telling stories, Shiny, but who is telling the truth? Jacob never gave orders. We both took them from R. Right. Success. It was the whole story. So you're saying that you and my brother were being manipulated by R and he lied about it to protect Torvis? And to protect you, and your mum, and Hagrid, everyone he cared about, are threatened to make them all disappear. The letter from R made it sound like you were both trying to join their cause, or group or something. We didn't want anything to do with them. From Wales, we didn't want anything to do with them. But yes, in their mind, whoever lived the longest would earn the right to become their next member. But yes, in their mind, but yes, in their mind, whoever lived the longest would earn the right to become their next member. From Wales, but yes, in their mind, whoever lived the longest would earn the right. Whoever lived the longest would earn the right to become their next member. Yes, but yes, in their mind, whoever lived the longest would earn the right to become their next member. Whether they wanted to or not. Oh God, this is dark. Member of what? I have no idea. You may not have noticed, but I didn't live the longest. You may not have noticed, but I didn't live the longest. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Ghost. Yeah. So we're dealing with the secret club. I think it's a dark club if they threaten to kill people or bring harm to people. And you threaten Hagrid? I mean, me, that's fine. My mum? <laughs> That's all right. Throwing Hagrid, man, how low can you go? Right. So R told you to brew an extra explosive rumpant potion. They said they needed it to destroy whatever is guarding the vault after the forest vault. Hmm. And the potion exploded and killed you. I tried to tell them it was too dangerous, but they were more willing to risk my life to find out. Then why are you so angry at my brother? Because after I died, he didn't expose R or run away or stay to plan our revenge. He took the blame for R. He let himself get expelled. He was probably just afraid. I thought the same thing until he joined R and became even worse. Oh, how do you know? Eavesdropping isn't difficult when you can pass through walls. Yeah. From what the teachers say, your, br your brother became one of the most feared wizards in Nocturne Alley. Why would he take the blame for R and then join them? 
he's either a coward who decided he'd rather side with the manipulator and the murderer than face them, or a liar who used me from the very beginning. Either way, you're better off leaving him wherever he is. Leave R alone before you end up like me. Leave Hogwarts altogether before it's too late. I can't leave until you give me the Marauder's map. You don't have it. Peeves couldn't get it to work, so he swapped it with someone. God damn it, Peeves! Who did he give it to? What do you even want it for? I need the map to find the next cursed vault so I can save my friend and find my brother. I just told you to leave Hogwarts. <laughs> do you believe what I told you about Jacob? Yes. I mean, come on, what's he got to tell he's a ghost? I believe you, but someone is manipulating him. I can help. Just don't let Jacob manipulate you too, unless you'll end up like me. Either way, you don't need a map to find the next curse vault. You just need to ask Mundungus Fletcher in Nocturne Alley. He can tell you all about your brother and who he was working with while you're there. Well damn, that was a jam-packed episode, right? So, we found out, do we think R is now an organisation? Scrap the Marula thingy question. Do we think R is a single person? Or do we think R uh, is a group, group, a group, a group? And if it is a group, what does R stand for? Rebels? Ravenclaw? <laughs> Just everybody in Ravenclaw. Ridiculous. Ribbit. Riot. Something magical beginning with R. Hmm. So many questions. So many answers at the same time. And just open up more doubt. Wow. We've been told a lot about Jacob. So we've actually been given the storyline of Jacob. Is that he and Duncan were being manipulated by R. To help them in their quest for finding the vaults. In process they were threatened to do so. But they were told that if one of them. Whoever lives the longest gets to join the, the brotherhood or the membership, is to join them, become a member. So is Jacob evil, or is he joining them to try and stop them? And that's what he's trying to do, because it's probably the only way to do it without leaving me, Mum and Hagrid at risk. So, and that just that makes that means R is probably still active and that they are behind the dark wizards. Whew. Whoa! It makes me think R could be more than one person. It makes me think that R could be a number of the people in our close vicinity. It could be Rake Pick, it could be Marula, Tulip, Rowan, Ben. It's not Bill and Charlie. <laughs> Cannon saves them. <laughs> it could be Jai, it could be Badia. It could be Diego. One person. Two people I didn't say. One was Andre. I don't think Andre has it in him. But Barnaby. What if Barnaby is a part of R? I think Barnaby would break my heart more than Penny. <laughs> it definitely would. Wow. So many questions. I want your comments about this episode for sure. Let me know your theories. What do you think? Do you, do you think it's more likely that R is one person or a group of people? Or that R was just one member of that group of people? Whew. Who's Miss Green? Anybody got any insights to that? Let me know. Okay, that's all for this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you soon.